Welcome to Chaz Adventures. Hope we're having a great day. It is Saturday, November 4th. Uh, kind of depressing in a way. I uh, know holidays are coming up, but it's like, you know, it, it means the cold weather's coming, at least here in Indiana. So I hope you all are, had a good Halloween and everything, and so far things so good. Um, I was going to make an impromptu video. I just It just come to me. I was out here cleaning my kayak up, getting her prepared for the winter, because at least up here she's done for the year. I won't be taking her back out until spring, unfortunately. Uh... But as you see from the title of the video, uh, the, the the question I get a lot, and I hear a lot all the time, is what is the best kayak out there? And I don't know if anybody's ever said it. I'll just flat out say there is none. There is not one best kayak out there. It's just it's just plain and simple, because there's so many different varieties of kayaks. I mean, you got sit in, sit on top, you know, uh, paddle, pedal, you know, all kinds of different things. So. When you, when you ask if what's the best kayak, you really need to ask yourself, what's the best for me? Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that go into buying a kayak, okay? And, and, and I'm, I'm going to hit on the main ones. Obviously, the main thing is probably going to be, we'll just say, we're just going to say price, okay? Because this is, face it, you know, especially the way things are nowadays, money's tight. Kayaks are getting expensive. Uh, they've gone up a lot. Um, when I, I, I paid just two grand for this one last year, and I think now it's probably 25, 2700. I'm not for sure, but what I got here real quick, it's the Nada Slayer um, Propel 10. Um, it's, it's what suited my needs. Um, so obviously, like I said, budget, you know, how, how much you have to spend, you know, I'm not saying, because you, you gotta, you want something good quality, but I don't think if you're starting out, you really need to go out there and buy something that's like four or five thousand dollars. I, I just think that's crazy because, you know, what if you get in there and it's not really for you? Now you're, you just spent this money. Okay, I mean you can resell it, but you'll never get out of it what you bought for it. So I would probably say no. And another thing we we'll look out for too is when you buy the kayak. Not only are you just going to buy the kayak um, with the budget, but you got to make sure you have extra money for accessories. Because trust me, you'll never stop adding accessories. This, you know, you're going to you're going to want to add, you know. You're gonna need a crate, you know, you're gonna need a fish scale, you're gonna need an anchor, you're gonna need this and that, you know, all kinds of downriggers and different guides and things, and it just goes, the list goes on and on and on. I'm not gonna get into the accessories in this video, but trust me, you're gonna you're gonna see all kinds of neat little things. You know, you might want a fish finder, you might want to add a, a trolling motor on these. A lot of people do that nowadays. Um, you know, paddles, you make sure you have a paddle. I don't care if you have a pedal drive kayak, make sure you have a set of paddles, because if your pedal drive goes bad, you got to have a way to get back to the bank. So that's the first thing most is, is, is you want to budget around what you can afford. You know, don't don't go bankrupt and buying a kayak. And, and you want I think you also want to add some accessories in there because a lot of times when you buy a kayak, that's all you get, just the boat. It doesn't really come with any other features. Unless you buy a used kayak, a lot of times they'll come with things that they bought, you know, within your risk. But then your risk of, hey, since it's used, is it... Uh, what kind? How, how bad is it? How bad a shape is it? Is this? Is it good? Is you know you, that 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 part to me always comes into play. So I always kind of like to buy new. That's just me. So that would say budget would, would probably be the main thing. And number two, I would say, uh, what do you plan on doing with it? Do um, you plan on taking it out in the open water, like in the oceans or big lakes or, or reservoirs or whatever? Um, so you're going to probably want a, a bigger kayak. You're probably going to want at least a 12 foot, maybe even a 14 foot uh, kayak for stability reasons. If you're going to be out that deep. Um, and so you're, you know, that, or if you're fishing rivers, mostly a lot of rivers, um, a pedal kayak may not be for you because I would not use a pedal drive in a kayak or in a river. That's one thing about this. The pedal drive can comes out. So if I do want to put this in a river, I could take the pedal drive out. Boom. I got paddles and I can go down my way. Um, but cause you mainly just do river fishing. Uh, you may want to hold off on the, uh, on the pedal drive and just get a regular paddle, a kayak to save a lot of money that way and and one that you know is sp specifically for that so i say that's what you're going to do with it that's probably the next next best thing and what goes along with that is probably the size of the person that's another thing you want to take into what you want to do with it um i'm a small guy um so i went opted for the 10 foot not just because i'm not very big but ease of hauling it around um i didn't have to worry about buying a trailer i don't have to worry about any of that stuff because i can just i got a bed extender on my explorer sport track i just put my best bed extender on slide this in there boom tie it down i'm on my way easy transportation so that's another thing you want to consider when you do buy a kayak is how you're going to transport it there's a lot of, i mean you can get a car top carrier you can buy a trailer you can make a trailer uh, where you can use the bed extender or you can just throw it in the back of your truck bed if it's if it's deep enough however you want to do it so that's another thing too to um to 
remember when you're doing that is your transportation. How, how are you going to transport to and from the lake? So that's another thing to consider too as well as what you plan on doing with it. Um, and, and, and another thing that you want to take into consideration, I would say too, would be what do you, you know, what do you like? You, you, your, your person likes, what, what would you, what do you, in your own thing, what do you require in a kayak? What certain features do you have to have? What certain features, you know, do you like and you want to get? Um, Cause trust me, you're you know, you're going, you're going, everybody has their preference of what they want. Like I said, the reason I got my 10 is because the fact it's very, this is very light easy to transport i'm not a big guy it does great for me i don't do a lot of big open water i do a lot of smaller lakes ponds things like that so this suits me perfect i i don't i don't need a bigger boat um plus i came with the pedal drive if you've never used a pedal drive and you think you want to get out in all kinds of open water i honestly would suggest going to a pedal drive because once you've had just paddle alone and then you go to this you're gonna say oh my god this is amazing because it's a lot of hands-free fishing where you can just steer the boat with your with the rudder and the pedals instead of that like, freeze your hands up with with fishing instead of trying to constantly take a paddle and situate yourself and get back in line with where you want to be at fishing so that's another thing to consider um plus i like the it's got the storage on top in front the the, the storage compartment with the lid on i kind of like that i don't like oh Again, personal preference, nothing wrong with them, but I like a closed hatch up front to help store things. Looks more, looks cleaner, um, and it helps with nothing getting more wet. It helps with getting things not getting wet in there. Um, and plus also, as you can tell, it's kind of, it's a camo pattern. I wanted a camo kayak. I didn't want a bright orange, a bright red, you know. That, again, this is all personal preference and what I like. Um, again, I wanted a pedal drive, and I wanted a good, a good brand, and at the time, the kayaks, the kayaks are hard to find last year. I think that might be easier now. I'm not sure. I know the prices went up, but these are kind of hard to find. When I found one, I got it. I got I got a ship for only a hundred bucks, which to me was a you know by freight, which was a great price. You know, because we don't have no kayak stores around here, unfortunately. So I got it. This fit everything I needed. I, I love it. So it had everything I wanted. This the size, the uh, the, the features in it, um, the price everything it fit everything i needed so to me this is the perfect kayak for me you know uh, for everybody else no you may not you may this may not be for you it just depends again on what you like but this had all the features that, that i personally needed it had plenty of track systems uh room for your like i said it's got a rudder a great seat that's adjustable i did add some seat risers to it um again the pedal drive which could be removed um it just it just everything just it, this just suited me very well and this this has done me well it's very stable i could stand up and casting this no problem i don't worry about falling so this is a very to me this this fit m my needs excuse me perfectly so um that's your thing to look at you, you, you don't have features you're going to want so again I'll, so before i close out this video like yeah, i'm not an expert by no means people out there know a lot more about kayaks than i do um i don't keep up i don't really keep up with the latest and greatest i just know from talking to the general public out here, people that ask me when I'm out fishing or people, you know, on, on YouTube, you know, what, what, what's the best? I want to answer that. There is no best kayak. It's a personal thing that what that's going to fit you with those reasons I said, with your budget, uh, what you're planning on doing with it. Uh, the size, your size. I mean, that sounds crazy, but that, that matters. You know, a guy that's six, two, 300 pounds is not going to want to cramp up in this 10 foot small kayak. It's not, it just wouldn't be comfortable all day to do that. So you want to take in consideration that as well. Um, and, and also transportation. How, how are you going to transport this back to and from the water? You know, do I have a car? Do I have a truck? Um, those things you got to look at. And, and, and those are other expenses. Like if you need a trailer, okay, there's another expense you got to do. You got to buy a trailer. You got to plate it. You know, you got lights on. There's all kinds of different things, you know, that you got to consider when buying. So when you buy the boat, you know, there's a lot of extra things you got to do to put that on water. So um, that's really about all I had to say. I know it kind of rambled on, kind of went all over the place, but I just kind of wanted to throw this out there um, because I hear this question a lot. It's out there a lot, and I'm, and I'm not, not going to try to sell you a certain brand, a Hobie or a Native or you know whatever, Bonafide or whatever they are out there nowadays. I'm not going to, you know, it's it's, it's it, it does to me. It didn't matter. Um, I just like this one for what it had, the features, and, and trust me, I compared and compared and compared. Um, before I bought it, because I know anytime I spend that, you know, anytime I spend a thousand dollars more, I really like to take my time and research things uh, a lot, you know, get reviews, look at specs, compare it to this, compare it to that. So I know I made, I know I made a good purchase, because um, I, you know, I do like keep my budget in check. So I hope this answers some questions. Um, again, like I said, I'm not an expert by no means on kayaks. There's a lot of people out there that have 
a lot more in-depth videos on this topic that are a little a lot more than I do. Um, but if you have any questions, you know, just just ask me. I'll be glad to try to answer them for you or steer you in the right direction for sure. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a little bit out of it anyway. And uh, hope you all are staying warm if you're in the colder weather. Here we are. It's upon us, the holiday season. But you got to remember, it's one day close to spring. Thank goodness. I'm already ready for it. I'm ready to get this. I just cleaned her up and for the winter, and I'm ready to get her back out already and, and get start fishing again because it's, it's just a lot of fun. So thanks again for tuning in. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Um, again, any questions or comments, tell me what tell me what kayak you have, what you like, what your preference is. Love to hear from it. Or again, any questions about my kayak personally or any other kayak question, I'll be glad to try to answer, answer them for you. Until next time, y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you later.